Make it, sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Do your monster furry creature. Draw a picture of my teacher. I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Mel Drew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Tom Nicks. Show, make an awesome waxy doodle, match my classmates with their pets, and make a champion rosette. Welcome to my brilliant show. Hello, today is a big day. Me and my best friend Derek are taking his dog Rooster to a dog show. It took ages to get Rooster ready. I think Rooster could win. And, if he does, we should spend the prize money on treats. And something nice for Rooster, too. Oh, obviously. He does look great. Rooster! Rooster! <laughs> oh, no, Tom! The dog show starts soon. Don't panic. It's not that bad. We'll just give Rooster a good bath. <gasps> <gasps> You said the B word. What? Bath? Whoops! You said it again! Well, don't worry. Even the biggest mess can become an awesome doodle. It's time for Draw It! It's Liz. She writes and draws all the Tom Gates books. Right now, I'm going to show you how to do a wax resist doodle. Amazing! All you need is a piece of paper, some paint, water, paint brushes, and you also need something to put underneath. You don't want to get the table messy. So I've got a bit of tissue here. You also need an oil pastel or a wax crayon. Either will do, but you just need something to be able to draw with. Got it. Thanks, Liz. I'm going to draw on the white paper. You won't see very much. Let's just start here. Get a nice surprise at the end. If I look down like that, I can just about see what I'm drawing. I know you can't see anything, but it's getting there. I think that's done. You can just about... Maybe one more up there. There you are. So when you've done that, mix up some watercolour and it has to be watercolour. So you could use poster paint as well, that will probably work. Mix it up with some water. I'm going to use this nice big thick paintbrush here and I've already got some mixed up. I'm using a nice dark colour. If you use a dark colour then you'll see the wax really stands out. A bit of water. Do a tester first. Just see just on this bit here. I think it's going to work. So you need it to be quite liquidy. There we are. So where I've drawn, the water is resisting. So you actually get to see the, the wax coming through. Oh, I see. I love this bit. It's like magic painting. If you think you've put too much paint on, you can always take a little bit of tissue You can just dab it off. If you use paper that's quite thick as well, that helps, because you're going to be putting a lot of water on it. Good tip. Now can you see why it's best to have a dark colour as well? Really stands out. It's nice because these are the same doodle patterns that you might see on the books, but just done in a very different way. 
Right, there you go, finished, all done. What do you think? I think it looks great. And you could try doing a monster, you could do more doodles, make up your own patterns. It's just a different technique and it's a different way of doing doodles. So I hope you have fun trying that out. Thanks Liz, that was great. Why don't you give it a go? Right, whilst we give Rooster a bath, I think there's just enough time to play it. Have you ever noticed how pets sometimes look a bit like their owners? Not really. Mm, I think they do. Here are five pets. Some of my classmates and my teacher from school. Can you guess which pet belongs to a witch owner? There's Florence Mitchell. Mark Clump. He has a lot of pets. Mr. Filament. Tom, um, have you done your homework? Yes, sir. I didn't know I had any homework. Amy Porter. And Marcus Meldry. I bet his pet's annoying. <gasps> OK, here we go. Match the face to the pet. It's quite tricky, but they do all look a bit like their owners. Time's nearly up. Have you matched them up yet? Hey, that's it. How many did you get? Talking of pets. Me and my best friend Derek have been getting his dog Rooster ready for a dog show. We might just make the dog show if we hurry. Great, let's dry Rooster and give him a brush. I don't have a brush. I do. It's okay. I've only borrowed it from my sister Delia. She'll never know. Done. <sighs> eh, it could be worse. Uh, at least he's clean. Come on, Rooster, we need to go. Or we'll miss the jog show. <laughs> Tom! Welcome to my brilliant show. We got to the dog show just in time for Rooster to win fluffiest fur in show. Lucky we gave him that bath. Rooster! <laughs> you can be a champion too with your own winner's rosette. Let's make it. Let's make our very own rosette. You will need Two sheets of coloured paper, one sheet of white paper, some string, some PVA glue, sticky tape, scissors. Be careful with scissors. Coloured pens. And the glue stick? Yeah, and the glue stick. What? You want one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, got all that? Fantastic! Let's get it making! Take a sheet of coloured paper and cut about a third of it lengthways, like this. Set this bit aside for later. Now fold about a centimetre from the bottom forwards, then fold it backwards. And keep folding forwards and backwards all the way up the paper. When you unfold it, it should look like this. Do the same with the other piece of coloured paper. Now you've got two crinkly strips. Pinch and fold in the middle. Hold them together like this. And tie them up with string. Cut off any extra string. Be careful with scissors. And use the glue stick to glue the inner edges of the bows together to make the circle. Now take your extra strip of paper and cut it down the middle like this. Then cut out two triangles at the bottom of each strip to make the ribbons. Fix them to the back of the rosette with some sticky tape like this. 
take your white piece of paper, draw a circle and design for the centre of your rosette. Cut it out. Use a large blob of glue in the centre to fix it to the front. Perfect. You have your very own rosette. You can make your rosette with any colour or patterns that you like. See? It's really true. Pets do look like their owners. Welcome to my brilliant show! In this brilliant show, get some Tom Gates on your toast, find out what's in the doodle box, and rock out to a nice cup of tea. Welcome to my brilliant show! I'm hanging out with my best mate, Derek. We're talking about our awesome band, Dog Zombies. <laughs> When Derek's dad, Mr Fingle, comes in. Hey, guys. Hello, Mr Fingle. I've got a great surprise that's going to rock your world. Yes? We're hoping for cake. I found a rare copy of Teacup Tony's Greatest Hits. How cool is that? Let's have a listen, shall we? Sorry, Dad. Homework to do. Actually... We're a bit busy, Mr Fingle. Shame. I've got some nice cake for after. OK, we'll make time. Great idea, Dad. Yeah, let's have a listen. Mr Fingle has a huge record collection and I bet you haven't heard of any of them. Here's his current top five. At five, the small insects. Apparently, they were massive. At four, the rash. We're not itching to listen to them either. At three, it's Kate Tree. She's wild. I have to admit, it's almost like a dog zombie cover. In at number two, the one and only James Frown. He's moody. Like the cape, though. And holding the top spot at number one, Mr Fingle's favourite album ever, Dark Side of the Spoon. Apparently, it's a classic. Oh, man. Dad, can we have cake now? Yeah, in a minute. In a minute does not mean in a minute. We could be here for a while. Oh, man. Oh, I wish I could write like this. Whilst I'm dreaming of cake, it's time for Draw It. <laughs> it's the Doodle Box. I wonder what it's going to be. Hi, I'm Liz, and I write and draw the Tom Gates books. And right now, let's see... What's in the box? I love this bit. OK. Yes. <laughs> it's a cake. Excellent. Well, you might be wondering what I'm going to do, apart from eat it, of course. I'm actually going to use some very special icing sugar and do a doodle on it. Amazing. Always get an adult to help you make the icing sugar, especially when you're adding the food colouring. I've mixed up very, very dark, almost black, and I'm using a clean paintbrush or a new paintbrush. I'm going to draw Tom. And as it's a round cake, I'm going to do Tom's face in the middle. You can get other things to use onto a cake, or you can use icing sugar pens. Um, they work just as well. I just find it easier with a paintbrush and a bit of icing. You can always have a practice in pencil on a piece of paper first before you start doing your design on your cake if you want. Just so you know what you're doing. Got it. Thanks, Liz. If you mix up a nice pot of icing sugar so it's light, nice and runny, then it won't set quite so quickly and you'll be able to move the icing sugar around on the cake a bit more. Careful not to lean your hand on the cake. You don't want to put it in the icing sugar. Right, 
on the logo. Let's do some of my stars. I'm going to do a few of my lines to make them look like shooting stars, I think. Right, now I'm going to paint a line around the stars and then start filling it in. This style of doodling, you can see it's great. It goes on all different kinds of things, including cakes. So I do these little curved lines that just follow one after the other. Just curving each one, you just follow the line. Tom Gates doodled on cake. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> oh, thanks Liz, that was great. Why don't you give it a go? Welcome to my brilliant show. Mr Finger was promised we can eat that cake after we listen to his favourite records. It looks so good. I'm really hungry. Finally! Can we have the cake now, Dad? Of course! Yes! <laughs> After we listen to the B-side tonight's cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's the extended version called Tea and Toast. I wish I had some real toast right now. I think it's time for Make It! How to make a tasty toasted doodle. You will need a slice of bread, white works best, clean hands and a toaster. Be careful with toasters! That's right, make sure you get an adult to help you. And a glue stick? Not for toast. Oh, all right. Sorry, maybe next time. Fantastic, let's get making. <laughs> Take your bread and decide what you want to draw. Something simple works best. Use your finger to press into the bread to make an indent, like this. Keep pressing until you're happy with your doodle. Now it's time to toast your bread. And don't forget, ask a grown-up to make sure it's safe. When your toast is done, you can really see the doodle. If you want to try something with more detail, use a spoon to press into the bread, like this. You can doodle all kinds of shapes and designs. Here are a few of my favourites. Tasty toasted doodles. Yum! Welcome to my brilliant show! Yeah, yeah, man. Derek's dad, Mr. Fingal, is still playing us his old records. Yeah! Ooh. But all we really want is cake. Ready for another hit, boys? We're ready for cake, Dad. Really ready. <laughs> all right, but let's listen to Teacup Tony and the Saucers, a nice cup of tea, just one more time, eh? Come on, it's an absolute classic! <laughs> Rooster doesn't think so. I think it's time for Sing It! When everything around you begins to fall apart Your life becomes a struggle and you don't know where to start The answer to your problems is easier to see when you go and put the kettle on and have a cup of tea Drink it in the morning, drink it when it's hot Tea will make you happy, even when you're not And if there's a disaster, my advice would be To go and put the kettle on See? 
Seen the Loch Ness Monster, he really does exist. I went to take his picture as I didn't want to miss. When Nessie swam towards me, he gave me quite a shock. And now my camera's lying at the bottom of the My numbers were all there. I couldn't quite believe that I was now a millionaire. I've never been so happy in such a cheerful mood until the dog decided that my ticket looked like food. Did you enjoy that, boys? Mmm. Yes, Mr. Fingal. Thanks. Mmm. Well, Bob, thanks. Shall we give it another spin? <sighs> oh, Roaster, that was my bit. <laughs> 